Hi, my name is Mike. Thanks for joining me today on my channel, Technically Church, where I share over 20 years of experience in audio, video, lighting, and multimedia. You can always find out more on my website at technicallychurch.com. Let's jump in. Let's talk about shows, snaps, and snips on the Behringer Wing. So, I come from older boards where we had scenes. So this is a combination of pulling off uh, what used to be called scenes. So if we look at our screen here, I'm gonna go to library and I'm gonna go to shows. So if I were to create a show, a show is simply a collection of snaps or snips. So you're gonna build snaps or snips, essentially as scenes, and then you're gonna put them into a show in the order that you wanna run them. So let's say we had, uh, we're doing a play and we had 16 snaps for each scene in the play. We're gonna load those 16 snaps one by one into the show in the order I wanna use them and that allows you to recall them in order as you're actually playing back the show. So if we jump over to snaps, snaps are the main thing that you're gonna to wanna to save. A snap is essentially a snapshot of the entire board. So whatever you do on the board, if you were to save a snap, it's saving the entire board in that snap. Then you can change it, recall it, and you'll be back to where you saved. So snaps have a lot of features uh, that you're gonna wanna know about. So there is just a simple save, and it's gonna default to the entire board, uh, which is where the scope comes in. So if we hit save plus scope, you get a lot of options here for the entire board. By default, they're all lit up, meaning everything is gonna save into that scope. Now, why you would want to change this. So let's say you know, you always have an MC mic that you don't want to save in the scenes because you're going to be using that independent of the scenes. You don't want it to change as you load a scene. Maybe while the MC is talking, you're going to load the next scene and you want his mic unchanged. So if he was on channel one, you would unselect channel one before you save this snap. So that way it's going to save the entire board into this snap and it's just not going to affect channel one. So you have settings for all your channels, your auxes, your bus, every piece of this board. And then on the right, you have the parameters. So you can say, all of these channels I only want to save. So under contents, I'm going to hit none, and then just select fader and mute. So maybe, again, if we're running a play, you really only want to save the fader position and the mute on and off. Uh, maybe your EQs and everything else you want to be global. That way, if you change the EQ later down the line, it'll be you know, essentially the same for everything. So I'm just gonna save the fader and mute. So you have all these settings in a snap. So when you save that, that's what happens. Now, it is still saving all the parameters into that snap. It's just not going to recall it. So if you hit it, hit edit scope, all the parameters are actually there. So once you save a snap, you can actually change the scope. So you could go into here, so you can see everything is saved. I can say, well, actually when I recall this, I don't want channels one through eight to be affected. So I can uncheck that and hit update. So you can change that scope after you change the scene. One big thing to note is there is a big difference between save and update. So if you build a bunch of scenes with a small scope and then you make a change and you click on it and hit update, it's actually gonna only update the parameters within that scope that is selected. So it's not saving the entire board. If you use the save or save plus scope, it is saving all the parameters in that board into the, the snap. So it's a very important thing to note. All right, snips are a little different and they work by recording. They're very similar where you can have a record focus. So you can say, only focus on channels one through eight when I'm recording this. But when you hit record, the only things that are recorded are what you change. So again, it's not gonna save every parameter on the board, it's only gonna save a parameter that you change. So they do work a little differently and it can record button presses and some different things. So it's a little extra powerful and it helps you narrow down what you may need. Now all this gets saved into internal memory. You do have the option to use a USB drive uh, which plugs in up here. And you can save to that for saving off of you know, the Behringer wing. You can also use the USB port on the back of the Behringer wing to plug into a computer. And if you go to setup, 
under data partition, wing data, if you press that button when it's plugged into a computer, the wing will actually show up as an external drive on your computer, and you could back up anything in that internal memory uh, on the computer or put things on it as well. Thanks for joining me today. Again, my name is Mike. You can always find out more on my website, technicallychurch.com, or on my YouTube channel, Technically Church. Look forward to seeing you soon.